when you go out with work people, right? Yeah. People from work. Mm-hmm. And the next day is even more mortifying than <laughs> anything else. There's something yeah. Ab- like yeah. Something about go- getting drunk with work people and then the next day I just repeated myself, but it's just that crazy that I have to say it twice. And then you walk in and it's so weird because ever you know, everyone feels the same way. Everyone that went out the night before from work, y'all get wasted. And it's like, it's so funny. You're like, oh, we're, we're friends. You're cool. We work together. This is crazy. Let's get nuts. And then the next day, everyone has that same feeling of shame. You walk into work and it's like, yikes. yikes. What did I say? What did I do? I don't, this is weird. I'm not drunk. I don't know how to speak to you anymore. Yeah. Hey, last night was crazy. I don't know. Uh, was it? I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried a, about it. I'm not worried yeah. about anything. <laughs> yeah, what if, that was great. We don't need to ever do that again unless you want to. I don't know. <laughs> like, dude, and I just have flashbacks of things. I was like, dude, we should, like, we all should go out more. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. If you're going to go out with work friends, or yes. people I've been calling it. <laughs> but, co-workers. you know, sometimes we co workers. When you go out with co workers, it's like summer friends, some are like, you know, new friends or whatever. Go out on a Friday. Mm. So, so you got a couple days to recover. You, you got a couple days to recover. Maybe people will forget. Yeah. Yeah. Because then they'll go out on Saturday. They'll forget about how weird it was uh, on the Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's good advice. If I got any kind of advice, it's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So did you get wasted? I got freaking blacked out. Where did you guys go? What did you do? Uh, we went, We well, we watched Rough and Rowdy at the office. Yes. It got rough. It got rowdy. Mm-hmm. It was just me, Peyton, and Gia for women. Okay, I love those three women. I think maybe Katie Stats was here, but I didn't see her anywhere. Okay. But she's always here. Statistically, she was there. Statistically, <laughs> that's great. That's a great observation. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Nick Turani said, take Pink Whitney shots with me, pussy. And so then I started firing those off. He was firing Pink Whitney shots? I know, and I feel like he'd be very upset if I said that to everyone on public internet. <laughs> He's not as cool as we thought. He is cool. He was the one. He was saying to me, I thought you were the fucking party person. You're not going to take shots. And that's when I was dressed like a grandma. And I said, no, I'm grandma now. And he said, I thought you were better than that. I said, ah, let's get the fucking shots going. Oh, God. Okay. So you got the shots going. Yeah. Um, And then, so rough and rowdy. Then we went, uh, we went to Sucker Punch. It was very loud. None of us could talk. So we went to a dive bar. And uh, that's the best blow and O I've ever seen from a frat boy. And then I ended up at the Gem, which is an intern bar for mm-hmm. interns. That's hilarious. Yep. And I was like, at one point I looked around. I'm like, I got to go. <laughs> so, yeah, that was too, that. It wasn't too crazy? No, no, it, was, it wasn't too crazy. But We walking around talking like this? Though? I think I was talking like this. <laughs> Okay. I think I was, a little crazy. I think I was saying, we should all fucking hang out more. You guys, not, you guys are all right. You guys I are gotta right make right money off this. <laughs> <laughs> I could They're see trying it. to kill me. <laughs> I shoot the frat boys. They're trying to kill me. Uh, that's golden, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you had a fun time, though. Uh, thanks, man. I don't know. I don't know. Just a little fun ski. Yeah. 